Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to do a review on my um, Condor 3-day uh, assault pack. Uh, the product code is 125. This is the uh, olive drab digital version, so OD digital. So standard wooden camouflage. Um, so this is carried how I usually carry it. Um, I got all sorts of patches on the front. There's two large strips of Velcro here, which have my patches attached to. Also have a small tool on the front just for uh, prying. I was using this to clear dirt out of a radio the other day. Um, and on the front, I always carry my multi-tool. And on one of the arm straps, I will usually attach my watch. Um, so let's get into it. Let's take a look inside. So um, one of the largest compartments is just on the front here. Uh, it contains a zip compartment at the bottom and three larger uh, elastic, elasticated pouches. Um, I usually put my first aid kit in here. Uh, I usually have uh, tools. Uh, fire starting stuff, any sort of, you know, survival slash just overnight stuff in there. Uh, and then on the sides we have these two pouches and these two are fantastic for water bottles. Um, these are pretty much the perfect size so you can fit an Nalgene bottle in there. And again you have the strips of molly all over all of the pouches. So if you want to attach any of your own gear, um, that's completely possible. If you want to attach communications pouches, magazine pouches, any sort of stuff like that, then you can do that. So, uh, just behind the front panel, we have a small pouch here, in which is a simple two liter sort of compartment. Um, I usually store my, um, backpack cover in there, uh, just to keep this thing waterproof, because water will leak through here. And on the inside here, we have... Um, this is pretty much an organizer uh, for all your pens, gear, comms equipment, anything like that. Um, again, if you got communications equipment, if you got notebooks in here, unless you're waterproof, they will get soaked if it's heavy rain. Because this fabric, although it is tough, it's not necessarily really thick and it will absorb, absorb water. Um, so we go into the main compartment. See, the main compartment is absolutely huge. And it has three um, zip pouches on the front where you can, you know, just organize your stuff. Um, and this main compartment here uh, is just huge. Um, you can pack basically a week's stuff of, worth of uh, travel stuff in this um, if you pack sensibly. Um, if you're a heavier packer, if you're a pretty normal packer, it will maybe do with three days, three days maximum. But if you're a light packer, if you're, you know, minimalist, anything like that, it will be sort of you could do this a week pack, maybe seven to ten days if you're very, very minimalist. Um, and around the back here we have a carrier for any sort of hydration system. So any sort of three liter, five liter pouch you can put in here. Uh, and then there are holes in the top where you can run the actual tubes through. And there's a few side panels right here, so if you lift this up, you have a hole there that you can run it through and then attach it to the front straps. Uh, another thing about this backpack, if you're carrying this as instead of like, you know, a hiking slash survival backpack, uh, you can actually remove the waist pad here. So if you undo the clip, and then there's a Velcro pad right in here. So if you just push that through, lift up the Velcro. And the whole piece will just come through. So if you just give it a good pull. My apologies. Uh, you also need to undo these small clips on the sides. So once that's undone, it'll come through far easier than just brute forcing it before. <laughs> um, so once that off, it turns into uh, basically just a large backpack, which is fantastic for bringing out a plane if you're traveling, whatever. Um, so as far as size-wise and compartments go, uh, I'm completely happy with this. Uh, I've not used any better backpack. Uh, to be fair, I've never used a more expensive backpack. Um, aside from this, I just have a standard hiking backpack. Um, but the one issue I did have with this, if you see, this is not the original zip pull that came on there. So this is the original, and this is one that I just made out of paracord. Uh, I just fused the two ends uh, and put that on, uh, simply because the actual zipper part um, wasn't quite attached on one side. So when it pulled up, uh, it actually came off and came through and came free. Um, so I just attached my own on there, um, just to fix the problem, but to be honest, that is such a small thing with this backpack. 
Um, one other small thing is because there's a fold that goes over the actual zipper on the backpack, quite often you'll get your zip stuck on this, so you'll just have to keep freeing it as you open it. Um, but as far as other concerns go, um, they've been completely minimal. Uh, any concerns I do have are very, very small. Um, and I've had 20 times worse backpacks than this. Um, so if you're lucky, maybe you can pick these up for maybe 60 bucks used. Uh, brand new. I think they're about 100. I purchased this on Amazon JP Japan um, for roughly $130. Um, so if you're in the market for a backpack, if you need something that's going to last and will last a while, um, none of this is torn, none of this is ripped. I've had this for two years, and it still looks pretty much as good as the day I got it. So as far as durability goes and fixability, this is fantastic, so I highly recommend getting one of these.